and to celebrate Black History Month, I wanted to give you a top five of some of my favourite black movies, whether it has black leads or it's situated around uh, our black community, um, or it's about history or race or whatever it is. I wanted to give you a top five of some of my favourite movies. Oh, they they deserve deserve to die. Die. Yes, they deserve to die. And I hope they burn in hell. A time to kill <laughs> will stir emotions in you um, because the story is so riveting and intense and but hopefully more than anything it will stir you to encourage change and and create change and and make a difference and not pretend that certain things are going on and um, while you enjoy your privilege um, so as much as certain people like to complain about race films I think they are important to remind those ignorant people or who or those people who choose not to care, look the other way, that mm, this shit's still going on. <laughs> not to you, but <laughs> still going on. One of my other favourite films with one of my all-time favourite actors is Guess Who's Coming to Dinner um, with Sidney Poitier. <sighs> this timeless masterpiece which is complex and provocative, especially for the 60s, um, I watch it over and over again now and it just touches a chord and tackling interracial relationships especially for the 60s um, was very you know was very brave and it's honest um, but compassionate all at the same time and all those ignorant questions or concerns or whatever are brought to the surface and are kind of hashed out in a grown-up way, you know, in a conversation. My other favourite top five movie is What's Love Got To Do With It with Angela Bassett, who is extraordinary. And up till now, I still get goosebumps when I watch that film, like literally shivers up my spine. I literally just forgave Lawrence Fishburne the other week for how convincing he was in this and the fear he put in me like but we all know why but it's fine I just think this is not only my favorite black bio but also my favorite bio I think um to see what she went through you know just at that time and to not only go through that and come out harder badder and just more spectacular come out the other side is so inspiring bad boys one and two as well but one obviously um i think i've probably watched this film a million and two times there's no other film i've watched more in my whole life than bad boys them two together on screen is everything i love comical great acting and um it's what made me fall in love with Michael Bay to begin with. But literally, this film's a 10 out of 10. I did not see any fault in it. The action, the drama, the comedy, the storyline, the act, like everything. Um, I love Tony Oni in this as well. But definitely one of my favorite Hollywood movies with leading black actors. And last, but definitely not least, as I said, this is in no particular order, um, Coming to America has become a staple in the black community. If you're black and you have not come to America, you have not lived, you don't know what's going on. Like, I feel like it's a rite of passage and um, even the intro of that movie is everything. Like, he takes the piss of what he thinks it would be to be <laughs> uh, an African prince and... Uh, you know, getting your teeth brushed and the rose petals, and someone wiping your butt and someone washing you and, and all that jazz. It gives me so, like, that intro was just one of the best things I've ever seen. As a creative genius, you cannot doubt that. And Coming to America is just friggin' hilarious. And I guess it's become the template of of black comedy um but thank you and um i welcome suggestions um there will be more i could only squeeze in five at this time there will be more 